If you're like me, then I love card games. I especially love card games that help me to improve at maths. In this video today, I'm going to show you five quick fire card games that are going to help you to improve at maths. They are perfect for lesson starters or for practice at home. The first game is called Target 10. To play Target 10, you need a regular pack of playing cards. You need to remove all the kings, queens, jacks and tens. That will leave you with just the aces all the way to nines. This is a game for any amount of players. And the aim of the game is to make 10. So each player is dealt four cards. And if you are able to make 10 by adding any amount of cards, then you receive one point. As you can see here, if I try to add eight and four together, that makes 12, so I, that does not make 10. There is no combination here that makes 10. So I would not receive a point for that round. Let's see if this time I can make 10. So as you can see here, this time I can make 10 because three and seven go together to make 10. So there's one point for me. And you can complete this as many rounds as you want. Maybe you can play first to 10 points to win. This game is fantastic just for, you know, um, mental addition, quick fire games. And it's just a great starter activity. The name of this next game is called 25 Up. To play 25 Up, all you need is an ace, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a 10. Doesn't matter what suit they are, they can be any suit at all. At the beginning of the game, you will shuffle the cards in any order. And the aim of the game is to beat your own personal record score. So this is like a one player game against themselves. You'll need a stopwatch or something that does timing. And all you're trying to do is do, do quick fire mental addition to make 25. For example, four, six, 11, 14, 24, 25. Now, the brilliant thing about this game is that the answer is always 25. So when you're practicing, if you get an answer of 26, when you add the final card or 27, you know that you have made a mistake. The answer is always 25. This is a fantastic game to for quick fire mental addition and for adding numbers past the, the 10 boundary. Now, this game can actually be played in an alternative way where you start on 25 and you take away instead. Again, we're going to be against the clock. So 25 take away 10 is 15, 14, 10, 8, 3, 0. And all the time you're trying to beat your own personal record. The third card game is called Largest Number. This is a two player game, or it could possibly be three or four as well. Now to play this game, you need to remove all the tens, the queens and the jacks. So we're left again with just the aces to nine. And the aim of this game is to make the largest number you can. This is a real fantastic game to play if you're trying to teach place value or reasoning. So each player, this is player one, this is player two, each player receives two cards. And what they will try to do is they will try to make the largest number that they can. So the largest number that can be made by player one here is 51. The largest number that can be made by player two here is 52. So this would be one point to player two. Then they would receive another two cards and they would play again for the next point. 
Of course, if you wanted to make this game harder, so if you were working with older children, you could always be playing to four digits. So it'd be a four digit card game. So the largest number that could be made here is 9,861 um, and so on. The fourth game in this video is called Speedy Doubles. To play Speedy Doubles, you need to remove the kings from the pack. In this game, a jack is representing the number 11 and the queen is representing the number 12. And obviously 10 is 10. This game can be played with any amount of players and it practices it practices uh, mental recall of doubles. So all that happens is a number, a card is placed into the middle of the table and the person who is able to double that number the, quick, uh, the quickest wins the point. So player one would shout out two, because double one is two, double two, four, double two, 18. Whoever is the quickest wins the point. Now, if you, you can play this game by taking the speed element out of this, by asking each player to maybe write on a whiteboard, or you can just simply say, player one, double seven, 14. Player two, double five, 10. The final game of this video is called Bonds Snap. This is a brilliant game to play with younger students who are looking to improve their knowledge of number bonds to 10. To play this game, you need to remove tens, queens, jacks, and kings. So you are left with just aces to nines. This game works best in groups of three or four, uh, but it can be played as a two as well. All you have to do is just deal the cards into the middle and when snap, when you spot that there are two cards that go together to make 10 and make a number bond, so like four and six go together to make 10, that would be snap and they would go to player one. And we keep dealing until we see number bonds that go to 10. Snap, finally, five and five, and that would be player one who would get the one point. And then keep going. And then whoever has the most points at the end wins. Snap, four and six, player two.